Thank you. Uh, thank you for coming over. I, I, uh, I think I speak for probably all the majority members on the panel. I'm very disappointed of all the answers you were unable to give us. Um, to me, you look overall, we've gone from in the final year, COVID was half of the final year, um, having 15,000 unaccompanied minors having to deal with, uh, within a couple of years, it shot up to 128,000, which the higher, entire year was COVID related. So a lot of these problems stem from just the open borders policy. You can't go from 15,000 kids to 128,000 kids and not think you're gonna be able to remotely handle them. I'm very disappointed that you don't know percentage-wise those 128,000 you did DNA testing on. I know the Border Patrol does it occasionally, and it's not unusual for them to find a, a situation in which they were lying about whether the kid is related or not. Um, you, you don't know um, the percent of these kids. You talk to one parent and percent two parents. I'd like to know that I think it's relevant. A couple of years ago under the past administration, there was considered nothing worse than having children separated from their parents for a few weeks. Now we have children being separated from their parents for the rest of their lives, and you don't know how many times we haven't even had contact with the parents. Um, there was a very good question here, the sponsor rejection rate. Are any of these sponsors you know, inadequate? You didn't know what, what the percentage of that rate is. Um, the fact that we don't know where 85,000 uh, unaccompanied minors are, according to the New York Times, is kind of scary. I realize that it's not necessarily your responsibility, but to say 85,000 kids running around this country, we don't know where they are. I mean, that's just uh, uh, unacceptable. You are unable to ask the question, what is being done to prevent whistleblower retaliation and ensure uh, reports are taken seriously. That's something we should know about. And I think we do not have an adequate response as to what we know about other people in these families. I mean, you imply that we found an uncle for this person. There are people who know their uncles like their brother, and there are people who've never met their uncle before in their life. And, you know, sometimes these sponsors are in a household. Maybe the, the one person we don't have a, a background check on, or we do have a background check on, but other people we don't. So a lot of people have been ask, asking questions that presumably you'll get back to us within a week or two with the answers. Um, I'm glad we had the hearing. I guess the takeaway of the hearing is if you let a, if you go with this open doors policy, part of the open door is going to mean we have a lot of unaccompanied minors attached from their parents coming to the country, and not surprisingly, we have no idea where they're winding up. Um, or no idea whether they're safe or not. But um, in any event, uh, that's it.